The lightweight Mini GPS is the smallest cycling GPS computer in the world. It weighs only 30 grams and is housed in an elegant machined aluminum bezel. The compact design contains a custom engineered GPS recording system, which stores up to 100 hours of accurate cycling data. Its screen is optimized for clear visibility, even under bright sunlight, by using an ultra sharp, high resolution display. And it features an optional backlight for low light situations. The Mini GPS attaches to our extra secure X-Lock mount by pressing down at a 45 degree angle and clicking into place. While outside, turn on the device and briefly wait for a GPS signal. A menu can be accessed for a more personalized experience. You can select your time zone, change from two, three, or four data lines, and choose between kilometers or miles. Once your mini GPS is configured to your liking, simply press start and enjoy up to 10 hours of riding on a full charge. At the end of your ride, stop and save your recorded data. When ready to upload, simply plug the device into a computer with the included micro USB cable. No additional software is needed to access the mini GPS. Open a web browser and go to www.lazine.com slash GPS root. A free account can be easily created in our intuitive online interface. From the dashboard, click the upload button in the top right corner. Then click choose files, select the dot fit file or files you want to add and click upload again. Your ride will now be mapped and available for further analysis. Additionally, the dot fit files are compatible with other popular cycling and training databases. When we created the world's most powerful indoor trainer, the industry called it disruptive. We just called it long overdue. You see, no one had taken advantage of the awesome power of the smartphone to make indoor trainers better. So we did. And now we're doing the same thing with the GPS bike computer. Meet Element. Let's face it, setting up most bike computers sucks. It's like trying to send a text from an old flip phone. There's a better way. We all know it. And the good news is, you already own it. Element uses the power of your smartphone to take the pain out of the typical setup process. So all you have to do is download an app, scan a code, and you're off and running. Set up different workout pages, connect to your favorite cycling platforms, pair other devices, go nuts. If you use apps, you already know how to do this stuff. So let's move on to the ride. Element is all about simplicity. You'll notice this the minute you power it up. What's with the grayscale display, right? We admit it, color looks cool, but not when it's bright out. In high glare conditions, you need contrast. Contrast Element's large 2.7 inch display can deliver in any lighting conditions. Now let's talk about how the data is presented. Whether you're navigating through traffic or mocking down an open road, your eyes should be focused on what's ahead, not on trying to read your display. So we designed some really cool ways to make it easy for Element to provide you with the info you need in just a glance, like the ability to zoom in and out of data fields. Want to focus on power? Boom. Power and cadence? Boom, boom. The whole enchilada? Boom, boom, and boom. Or what about an entirely new way to communicate with your bike computer? like programmable LED indicators that let you know when your heart rate, speed, and power are above or below your averages. Element can even alert you when someone's trying to reach you or give you a heads up when you need to turn, which brings us to navigation and the whole GPS thing. Because Element is wireless, it's always syncing, acquiring, and pushing data around. And a lot of this data happens to be routes, local routes, distant routes, virtual routes, all of which you can load and share without ever needing to plug in a USB port. Want to relive a route? Pull it from your ride history. What about that KOM you posted on Strava? Element can tap past rides and post new ones back to Strava when you crush them. Yeah, you can even take outdoor rides indoors when it gets too nasty out. Well, you know we were going there. Of course Element gives you full control over Kicker when you need to bring the suffering inside. With the ability to control resistance with levels, ERG mode, or simulated routes, you can make life as miserable as your lactic threshold can handle. Look, we could go on and talk about other features like the ability to find friends with live tracking or compatibility with Wahoo's complete cycling ecosystem, but we know that you know that this is a product video. Of course, we're gonna hype Element. But we also know some chain ganger is in his basement right now unboxing this thing. He's gonna post something to YouTube. 
There will be likes, there will be hates. What there won't be, though, is a feature-rich GPS bike computer on the market that is as powerfully simple as Element. Hi, I'm Jeff with Cat. Today, I'm going to show you the Stealth GPS cycle computers. There are two versions of the Stealth. I'll begin with the more basic model, the Stealth 10. The Stealth 10 GPS-enabled cycle computer is simple to operate and easy to use. Because it uses GPS technology, there's no need for a separate sensor, so you can set the computer up super quickly. Essentially, you just turn it on, enter your time zone, mount it to your handlebar, and you're pretty much ready to go. The upgraded Stealth 50 features both GPS and AND Plus technology. AND Plus is the cycling industry standard for most devices that measure heart rate, power, and cadence. Since the Stealth 50 has AND Plus, you can use it with your AND Plus heart rate monitor, power meter, and cadence sensor. These monitors and sensors are also available as optional parts from CatEye. CatEye's AND Plus speed and cadence sensor enables you to obtain the highest level of speed accuracy and to record cadence. And the CatEye heart rate chest strap is the softest, most comfortable around. Both the Stealth 10 and Stealth 50 feature a full-time 10-hour backlight that can be set to turn on during the hours you ride. So, if you're out for a ride during that time, the backlight will come on and stay on for the duration of the ride. This is a great feature for cyclists who ride in the early morning or in the evening. Like all cabin computers, the Stealth 10 and Stealth 50 are 100% waterproof, up to 20 meters. One of the coolest features of the Stealth 10 and Stealth 50 is the ability to upload your ride data to Strava, Training Geeks, or cateyeatlas.com. With this, you can view a map of exactly where you rode, monitor performance, track training goals, and share on social media. For more information on the Stealth 10 and Stealth 50, please visit cateye.com or your local bicycle retailer. Remember where you started. From your first real bike to your first 100 kilometers. Clipping in, reading up, buying a new frame, learning a whole new language. With drifting, Calipers, and being in the drops, and hitting the wall, dreaming of 10,000 kilometers and knowing you can do it. From seeing how it's done, eating better, training properly, early starts, reaching the top, making friends and sharing the moment, speeding up slowing down, riding higher, riding harder, riding with confidence and knowing nothing holds you back. With Edge 130, you get instant data and automatic street cred. In this video, we'll help you get acquainted with your device and even take it for its first ride. First, complete the easy setup process through Garmin Connect. It will walk you through how to get your bike computer up and running and even pair it with your phone. Now, let's take a look at the device. On the top left is the power key. Press and hold it to turn the device on and off. When your edge is on, simply press it to activate the backlight. On the right side are two arrow keys. You'll use these to scroll through widgets, data screens, and menus. For example, press the down key to cycle through preloaded widgets. From the home screen, you can also press and hold the top arrow key to view the device menu. On the bottom right is the start-stop key. 
This starts and stops the timer when you're in an activity. It's also how you select an option while navigating the menu or acknowledge a message. Finally, on the bottom left is the lap key. Press it to mark a new lap or return to the previous screen. When you're ready to go for a ride, take the Edge 130 outside, turn it on, and wait a few moments for it to locate satellites. The satellite bars on the top of your screen will appear solid when the device is ready. From the home screen, press the Start key. When you're ready to ride, press it again to start the timer. While you ride, the screen displays your distance, time, speed, and other data. To view additional screens, press the up or down arrow key. Edge 130 allows you to customize these screens. You can choose how many data fields are shown on one screen and what those data fields are. Watch the Downloading Data Fields with Connect IQ video for more information on this. At the end of your ride, press the Stop key. Select Save Ride. Before you save your ride, we'll ask you to confirm the type of ride you just completed. This helps us classify the terrain you've just ridden on, and we'll use it to continually improve the popularity routing capability on the Garmin Connect course creator. Once your ride is saved, you'll see a notification if you achieved a new PR, like farthest distance or ascent climbed. If your device is paired with your phone, the saved activity will automatically upload to Garmin Connect, so you can access the app to review your ride in more detail or share it with your friends. Thanks for watching. To learn more about Edge 130, check out the other videos in this series. The Edge 1030 cycling computer was designed to be the perfect companion for every ride, and it's got the hardware to prove it. Its 3.5-inch touchscreen is bright and easy to see, even in direct sunlight. It works with gloves, it even works when it starts to rain. And it's got everything you need for accurate ride data and comprehensive mapping, such as GPS, GLONASS, an ambient light sensor, altimeter, and 16 gigs of internal memory. Edge 1030 is built to keep you connected, and that includes Ant Plus, Bluetooth sensor compatibility, and Wi-Fi. And with up to 20 hours of battery life, you'll be able to ride longer than ever before. Add the Garmin Charge Power Pack, and you can extend that battery life by up to another 40 hours for even the most remote cycling adventures. With Edge 1030, you have a range of mounting options, such as the new included Out Front Mount, which keeps your Edge device flush with the handlebars for a more streamlined look and easier use. The quarter turn tabs of the mount allow you to seamlessly attach and swap between compatible accessories. When you want to go for a longer ride or a weekend trip, switch out the insert and the optional Garmin Charge Power Pack attaches in a snap. Don't need the extra battery life? Flip the lever and easily swap your Power Pack for the Varia UT800 Smart Headlight. We've also introduced a new mountain bike mount specifically designed for bikes with short stems in environments where you don't want your edge in front of the handlebars. Thanks for watching. To learn more about Edge 1030, check out the other videos in this series.